Good morning. Welcome to Hope's Morning Devotion on this Wednesday, January the 20th. Where do you go when life is too hard? When you feel beaten up and bruised? When things and people that you thought would be forever aren't? Do you have a spot where you can go to gather your thoughts, think things through, cry unseen, pray? My favorite place is on the seashore. The sound of the waves and the gentle story in the ocean breeze console me. For me, this is a place where God really feels present. A few years ago, at the climax of a very painful time in my life, I made my way to Padre Island. I felt compelled to go. It was late in the day, and the sun was setting as I made my way to the beach. I lost track of time and my anguish and my calling out to God to comfort me. The darkness closed in, but I had left the car lights on, so they illuminated my path back to the car. I still felt miserable. The ocean was still. God seemed silent. I turned to go, and as I did, a mild breeze stirred up the sand and veiled the light from the headlights in a sheer curtain in front of me. I reached out and grabbed a handful of the sand, but when I brought my hand back, it was empty. I tried again and again and again to grab that curtain of sand, but each time I brought my hand back, empty. Then a strong thought came to me. Sharon, you can't hold on to something that wants and needs to go. Let it go. It hurts to let it go. Whether it's a job we wanted, children we reared, loved ones who have died, dreams unfulfilled, broken relationships. Whatever we want to hold on to, it's hard to let it go. We hold on to the grief like a cloak. And as long as we do that, we can't move forward. We're stuck. I believe God was telling me that day to let go. He had me. I drove back to San Antonio with renewed strength and hope and purpose. I can't say that everything was hunky-dory after that. I have a tendency to forget that I have laid the heartache at Jesus' feet. And I take it up again, and I find myself again engulfed in the same old, sad, defeating feelings. And again, I have to take it to the Lord until I can finally just leave it there with him. He's always here to carry our burdens, our grief, our pain, our disappointments. In Psalms 34, 18, it says, The Lord is near the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. And Jeremiah 17, 14 says, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. So let's give all that's keeping us shrouded in misery, all that I am grieving, all that you are grieving, to Jesus and move forward under his compassionate, watchful eye. Like the song says, his eye is on the sparrow. I know he watches me. Amen.